went to medical school at the University of Tennessee in Memphis, where my family is originally from. Uh, after medical school, went to Rochester, New York, where I was at the University of Rochester um, for internship and residency, and then moved to Nashville, where I was a cardiology fellow at Vanderbilt University. I stayed in Nashville um, after that and practiced uh, in Nashville. So I'm a cardiologist, and I do practice a good portion of my practice is general cardiology, but I specifically specialize in interventional cardiology, and uh, that's the part of cardiology where we uh, do both diagnostic and therapeutic procedures uh, for a whole host of cardiovascular uh, issues. And I uh, also I have a lot of expertise and experience in what's called structural heart intervention. So now much of the um, much of cardiology uh, can be therapeutic cardiology can be delivered without uh, surgical intervention. Uh, for a long time now, we've been able to treat coronary artery disease or heart artery blockages very successfully. But now we're able to um, do a lot in replacing heart valves and other types of cardiac issues without having to turn to cardiac surgery. The technology is advancing very quickly, um, and, and uh, it's an exciting time uh, to be an interventional cardiologist. One of the reasons I was originally interested in cardiology when I was in medical school is because it seemed to be the field that was advancing the most quickly in providing new opportunities for, for treatment. In the last 10 to 15 years, We've seen a revolution in technology, in medical device treatment, in the ability to adapt um, uh, medical devices for, uh, for treatment advances that uh, allow people to get equivalent therapies uh, without having to undergo uh, large invasive procedures sometimes. The techno technological advances have been just amazing. I love doing this. I've never felt this was a job. This is my, my vocation. This is my career. This is my, this is the reason, part of the reason I'm here is to do this. I love interaction with patients, the ability to help patients figure out what's, what might be going on or what might not be going on, and then to advance that further into being able to affect uh, important uh, uh, therapeutic changes or interventions that could improve their quality of life. I never get bored with what I do. And if you're never bored with what you do, then it's no problem to wake up at 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning and go to work.